Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Jo Abbott, Christian Romance Author. Um, today, I'm answering a question that is asked a lot in writing circles, and that is, are you a pantser or a plotter? Now, if you're not a writer and not in the writer world, then that question might sound sort of strange. Um, so I'm gonna explain it a little bit. But if you're a writer, there's basically two different categories um, of writer, and that is plotters and pantsers. Um, a plotter is someone who plans out their story, who ha knows you know what's gonna happen the whole time, um, probably does an outline, all of those things. Like they know, they have plotted out what's gonna happen in the plot. Yeah, um, so they already know the plot before they start writing. Um, the other one is called pantser. And that basically means that they don't plot, they don't plan it out, and um, that term becomes from flying by the seat of your pants. So you're a pantser if you don't plan it out. Now, there are a lot of, like those are sort of the two extremes, and there's really a lot of mixture in between. I have friends who are plotters, friends who are pantsers, and friends who are somewhere in between. Like maybe they kind of know a general outline, but then they pants parts of it, um, and vice versa. So there's sort of a range. Anyway, so the question is, am I a plotter or a pantser? Um, I don't know how well you know me, so you might could guess one way or the other, um, but I am a plotter, 100% totally plotter. Um, if I start flying by the seat of my pants, things are not going well. <laughs> um, I will like that. I will have scenes that I didn't plan out and anybody who's a writer has pro could probably tell you that sometimes your characters just decide to do things that you didn't expect them to do. And so then you kind of have to figure it out and you kind of go off book a little bit, But um, and that happens to me. But for the most part, I am a plotter. I know what's gonna happen from beginning to end of my story most of the time. I know, um, I know the whole plot. But I also, um, I do detailed outlines. So like I will plan out, you know, each chapter. Um, sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I will plan like the beginning to the middle of a book of chapters. And then when I get there, I kind of have to regroup and plan the rest of it. Um, that happens a lot now because um, it's easier. It, that way I don't feel, you know, so trapped into one thing. I can kind of give myself some room to go a little bit different direction if my characters decide to go off book. Um, so that works sometimes, but for the most part, I outline and I plot and I plan and I know what's going to happen. So, um, I've heard people say that might be boring. It might sound, whoop, that might sound like a boring thing to do. Like I already know the ending of the story. Uh, it's not to me. I, um, in fact, knowing where my characters are going to end up actually pushes me forward in the story. It helps me like keep going because I don't want to leave them hanging out here. I need them to get to this part so they can get to this part so they can, you know, get to the end. So that's the answer to that question. I am 100% a plotter and I like it that way.